Hello students and welcome to day 19 of the Who's Your One Challenge. Our topic today is Who Do You Say Jesus Is? Our verses are from Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 20. I'm going to read for us and then we'll get started. Jesus responded, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, Hello students and welcome to day 19 of the Who's Your One Challenge. Today our topic is, Who Do You Say Jesus Is? And our verses are from Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 20. So I'll go ahead and read and we'll get right to it. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist. Others, Elijah, still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But you, he asked them, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus responded, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because the flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. I will give you the kingdom, or the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples orders to tell no one that he was the Messiah. I'm going to read from our study from Shane Pruitt here because I think it's very interesting. Listen to these answers and see if they're familiar to you. Many times while talking to people about their relationship with Jesus Christ, I will receive some very odd answers. For example, one young lady said, all of the members of my family are Christians, so I am one too. One man replied, my wife does all the religious stuff in our household. And a teenager I spoke with said, I know what the Bible says about Jesus, but I like to do my own thing. These answers may sound nice, but they're not worth the breath it took to say them. It doesn't matter what others say or think about Jesus. Who do you think he is? You can't live your spiritual life vicariously through others. In this case, it is truly who you know. It's this very real question because it's something that every single human will have to answer. All of us will have to answer it during our lifetime. And our response is a matter of life or death. Not just here, but hereafter. So when we leave this earth, when our spirit's gone, our decision whether or not to claim the Messiah as our Lord and Savior will make a difference. And that's why we're praying for this one person, that they will come to know Jesus. So this prayer for today is confessing, take spending some time to confessing to Jesus about who each of you think he is. Maybe tell him some of your favorite titles. Like, who is he to you? Savior? Lord? Or best friend? Tell him what you think of him. Tell him why he's so important to you and who he is truly to you. Your prayers for today is to spend some time confessing to Jesus about who you say he is, specifically to you. What do you call him? Savior and Lord? Best friend? That's for you to decide. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for us and then I'll give you your action. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, I pray that every one of our students from Love Baptist Church will 
truly think about who you are to them. Lord, you are my Lord, you're my savior, you're my hero, you're my best friend, you are everything to me. And I pray the same for them that they will understand just what a gift and a precious savior you are. Help us to be reminded about how you deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Your action for today. Ask your one today through face-to-face -face conversation or a DM or text message what they believe about Jesus. Their answer might surprise you and be ready to share with them who he actually is. He is the son of God. He is, he did die and for our sins. And on the third day he rose again. I don't have to tell you, it's in the Bible. Read it for yourself. Either way, I'm gonna call it a night. We'll see you tomorrow.